The system's not broken at all. It's working exactly like it's supposed to. It's never worked better. The system has never worked better in history, in my opinion, than it is right now. I don't know how you could disagree with what I just said. What's up? Welcome to the channel. I'm Jared. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out. We're doing a smoking reaction. Before we get started, I made a terrible, terrible mistake today, folks. Before I sat down for this reaction, I said, man, I'm going to check out some new hip-hop that's not independent. I'm going I'm to listen to the new Lil Yachty. Never heard Lil Yachty in my life. I seen Cole Bennett, Lil Yachty teamed up, dropped a new song called Poland. I was like, this is it. I'm going to expand my horizons. I am, after all, a hip-hop head. How can I not listen to some of this new shit? Well, that's the worst song I've ever listened to in my life. It is 90 minutes or 90 seconds that felt like 90 minutes. I didn't even make it. I, I made it like 30, 40 seconds into that nonsense. And now I need Tom McDonald to save me. I need Tom McDonald's new sheeple video and song to drive this horrible chorus of Lil Yachty's BS out of my head. So please, God. Oh, a lot of people talk shit on Tom McDonald choruses for some reason. I don't mind most of them. Some of them are damn good. Some of them are a little shaky, right? That shit on Lil Yachty's Poland. I don't even know. I don't, I don't even know. I don't. I have. I don't know. Let's, let's, let's dive into something that's got to be good. Listen, if you're brand new to the channel, thank you for hanging out. Thank you for stopping by. And listen, if you haven't heard Tom McDonald's new song, Sheeple, and my pause in it is going to bug you, then you need to bounce over there to Tom's channel. Click that link right down below. Go to Tom's channel. Click on the video there. Watch it if you like it. Give him a subscription. Give him a comment. Give him a thumbs up. Then come back over here. Hang out with us. Whew, while we smoke down a little bit and check this out. All right, if you want to smoke with me, you go right ahead. If not, then you do your thing. I'm very blessed to live in a legal state. Oh, boy. Tom says this should be controversial. I will take anything. Any chorus that Tom McDonald does, I guarantee you is better than that crap that just came out of Lil Yachty's mouth. I cannot believe that video has like 6 million views in three days. I don't know what to fucking say about that. That ain't even rap music. I don't know what that is. This should be good. What do we got here? Oh, shoot. I'm bouncing all over. Damn it. All right. Are we ready? We look good over there, people. Let me double check over here. All right. I think we good. Let's peep this out. Sheeple. Tom McDonald, three minutes, 52 seconds. Humans been controlled since the day that they were civilized. The truth has been so heavily politicized. If Ooh, let's turn that down just a little. Look at that big old red eye. Humans been controlled since they've been civilized. That's Tom just starting it right off. Six seconds in. Volume. All right. Humans been, humans been controlled since the day that they were civilized. The truth has been so heavily politicized. If you don't know who's controlling you and killing all the little guys, find out who you're not allowed to criticize. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Tom McDonald already with the smart ass bars. Listen. If you to don't me. know who's controlling you and killing all the little guys. If you don't know who's controlling you and killing all the little guys. Find out who you're not allowed to criticize. Find out who you're not allowed to criticize. That's interesting, isn't it? We sure aren't allowed to criticize much these days in America, huh? That shit trips me out, everybody. I remember when it used to be cool to speak out against the government. All these motherfuckers running around acting like they're fucking the most trustworthy people in the world. Just run for government, don't they? Even all you Trump supporters. And I ain't going to say I'm, I'm against it, but he's still just a politician, too. Government is government. We should always question it. It don't matter if Trump says it. it. Don't matter 
Who says it? We should question everything. Ah, 10 seconds in. Let's see what else he has to say. If you don't know who's controlling you and killing all the little guys, find out who you're not allowed to criticize. Black folks who are never, ever actual slaves fighting with white folks who ain't actual Nazis. Control. So black folks fighting with white folks. Just because the news tells us one side's Nazis and the other side's whatever. I like this Eye of Mordor type thing going on in the background. It's supposed to be like the government all seeing eye watching. Yeah. Kind of like these little stormtrooper type. Uh, everybody's the same cookie cutter action he's got going on here. Yeah, the eye in the sky is pretty cool. Rolling you and killing all the little guys. Find out who you're not allowed to criticize. Black folks who were never, ever actual slaves. Fighting with white folks who ain't actual Nazis. Controlled by rich folks who use the news to make hate. While elite folks control other political parties. Used by the news and the rich folks who control it. I don't understand the people that are going to disagree with anything my man says. At this point, I find it hard to disagree with anything that comes out of Tom's mouth. Like, he doesn't tell you who to vote for. He points out really smart, intelligent discrepancies and things that just aren't equal. You know, you have all this fucking nonsense. And I, I know that half the people that listen to Tom's song right here are going to think he's some kind of stupid Donald Trump supporting MAGA rapper talking racist nonsense. Those are the exact sheeple that he's talking about. Sometimes it's frustrating. Like, like and, and they use this word woke. Like, like this is fucking woke. I mean, I guess what we're supposed to say now is, like, based, like, if you're smart, if you're red-pilled. I mean, that's what woke is supposed to mean. Like, you woke up to the fucking nonsense. But all these people are running around talking about woke, this and that, are the ones that are asleep. Asleep. Controlled by rich folks who use the news to make hate. While elite folks control other political parties. It's a big lie. Trying to make you pick sides. Trying to make you burn the cities down and kill each other. They got sick minds. Big lies. Defund the police so that there's big crime. To take away our Defund the police so there's big crime. Y'all notice that? Crime blowing up everywhere. I'm glad I don't call cops. Nothing to do with a disrespect thing. I love cops. Cops do good work most of the time. Although, in my younger days, I had plenty of interactions with asshole cops. But, I mean, I have plenty of interactions with asshole people over the course of my life. Doesn't mean all people are assholes. Just fucking all cops aren't assholes. Fucking crime blowing up everywhere, man. My girlfriend's car just got stolen. I live out in Summerlin in, in Las Vegas. My girl's car stolen from the auto repair shop when it was dropped off. And guess guess what the cops did on that? Fifteen thousand dollars it was valued at nothing. They didn't even interview the people. It's because crime is blowing up. They don't have any time. Crime blowing up everywhere. All these no bail fucking policies coming out now. It's like there did need to be some correction on some of these bail amounts are outrageous. Too many people are getting locked up on some bullshit, especially some fucking drug charges, right? But then they always go way too far. That's what the progressives do. Way too far to the left. They wait a fuck so far out there. Talking about go kidnap people in Chicago or something and you don't even need to get, have bail anymore. If you run from the police, they can't chase you. <laughs> and kill each other, they got sick minds, big lies, deep on the police so that there's big crime to take away our freedom to restore order they let die. Play with people, turn men into women, make the counterculture mainstream to mix up the system, change the pronouns of gender is a spectrum, so is privilege. I know poor white folks and black celebrities with millions. God, if gender, oh my goodness, what did he just say? With people, turn men into women, make the counterculture mainstream to mix up the system, change the pronouns, if gender is a spectrum, so is privilege. Change the pronouns, if gender is a spectrum, so is privilege. I know poor white folks and black celebrities with millions. I know poor white folks and black celebrities with millions. 
That's the thing they, they, the proverbial they, don't want us to realize is we're all getting boned just the same. We get slightly different versions of getting boned, but I mean, we're all getting boned. Getting too, it's just like Tom says, they get us too busy fighting with each other, worried about whatever little box. I'm a, I'm black, I'm white, I'm gay, I'm straight, I'm fucking whatever all this other shit is. Play with people, turn men into women, make the counterculture mainstream to mix up the system, change the pronouns of gender is a spectrum, so is privilege. I know poor white folks and black celebrities with millions. They starve you with a lack of information and only give you facts through a branded corporation. They starve you with a lack of information and only give you facts through a branded corporation. That is what we all have fucking got to wake up to. All this talk over these past couple years of misinformation. You guys been watching this at all? Did you see what that, that dude from Pfizer had to say? That they didn't even test it against transmission. Remember? And they were telling us the White House. The White House. Fauci himself out there talking about you had to get it for your, for your family, for your neighbors. Remember? I think it was Matt Damon coming on the TV talking about you got to go get that, that thing for grandmas and grandpas. And for my families put at risk by those of you that don't do the thing. Now, they, it, it was all, that was the misinformation. But they out there sweating Joe Rogan. They sweated my channel for saying something. I got a video removed, and I didn't even say anything controversial over that stuff. And all this yapping about misinformation. They're the ones feeding us the misinformation from a goddamn corporation. What happened to the Democrats? Any of you Democrats watching this shit right now? What happened to y'all being against the fucking corporations? Now you just run around, bow down to the foot of them all. Distort your worldview with an algorithm that changes based on propaganda curated for your engagement. We can't be free, can't have no peace till we're on the same team. But you're the sheep, blue the screen's just part of the machine. Y'all are sheep. What do y'all believe? Nothing's what it seems. Hollywood been right in your brain, controlling your mouth. You say lit, fleek, bet, cap. They trying to dumb you down. They endorse whatever narrative is popular to shout and use my. Okay, I don't, I don't think I agree with what he just said there. Let me, let me, let me run it back and see if he's. It sounded like he was saying they get you to use slang in order to dumb you down, and I, I don't, I disagree strongly. Um, am I turning the volume down? Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> Fleet bet cap, they try to Hollywood been right in your brain, controlling your mouth. You say lit, fleet bet cap, they trying to dumb you down. They... I, he's a Hollywood controlling your brain in your mouth. You say all these slang words, they're trying to dumb you down. Um, yeah, whatever, I disagree. They endorse whatever narrative is popular to shout and use minorities in movies for diversity clout. Two... Yeah, yeah. They tell you what to think and then they use minorities in movies and entertainment to get on that diversity tip. Yeah, I think a great example of what he just said. Let's run it back here and, and make sure I'm understanding that right. And then I'll, I'll show you a great example of, of that taking place. Whatever narrative is popular to shout and use minorities in movies for the Hollywood been right in your brain, controlling your mouth. You say lit, fleet, bet, cap, they trying to dumb you down. They endorse whatever narrative is popular to shout and use minorities in movies for diversity clout. Two one more time. And right in your brain, controlling your mouth. You say lit, fleet, bet, cap. They trying to dumb you down. They endorse whatever narrative is popular to shout. They endorse whatever narrative is popular to shout. And use minorities in movies for diversity clout. Then they use minorities in movies for diversity clout. Okay, like a good example of that, and it is it is just straight using somebody, is when Cardi B interviewed Joe Biden. Okay, Cardi B is not um, a political individual. I think that... I think that's evident if you go read her public statements on social media when it comes to politics. And that's fine. She doesn't have to be. The, the, the point of it is she is in no way needed to be interviewing President Biden, right? There, there's no connect there. She's not a news person. She's 
doesn't have known political viewpoint. She doesn't discuss politics in her music. Um, I mean, she talks about her WAP, but not any political thoughts that I'm aware of that make any sense. So Joe Biden and the White House and the Democratic Party were simply trying to latch onto her street cred, her pop culture cred, and her, like, what is it, 15 million Instagram followers or whatever the fuck it is. And that's, that's just straight using them. Like, Joe Biden doesn't have any connection with Cardi B. No one, none of the Democratic administration, there was nothing there except just using somebody. Just straight using a minority in order to make their old white asses look better. I mean, tell me I'm wrong. Anyways, happens all the time. And I think that's exactly what Tom was saying. They endorse whatever narrative is popular to shout And use minorities in movies for diversity clout Two sides on the spectrum, but ain't none of them honest Took the red pill and the blue pill, spit them both in the garbage Both sides of the spectrum, ain't nobody honest Take the red and the blue and spit them in the garbage Now, he's not talking about red pill like like when you are you wake up to the bullshit Like Tom is very red pilled that, that phrasing used to confuse me a little bit too Because it's easy to think they're talking about red like Republican Like you've been Republicanized that's not what it means. What he's talking about right here is take that red pill and that blue pill, that Republican and that Democrat shit, fucking throw them both away. Just listen to Tom. You don't really have a lot of choice these days. Being woke used to mean you understood you were target, and now it's having two good legs and never taking a step forward. If you agree, it's free. Being woke used to mean you understood you were a target. Now it's having two good legs and never taking a step forward. Shh. Good bar, sir. Understood you were target, and now it's having two good legs and never taking a step forward. If you agree, it's free speech. Disagree, it's hate speech. Erase it if it came from anywhere except the mainstream. Trump support. If you agree, it's free speech, then it ain't hate speech. I don't like the term hate speech. I think that was the start of the slippery slope to getting rid of more and more of the First Amendment. Understood you're a target, and now it's having two good legs and never taking a step forward. If you agree, it's free speech. Disagree, it's hate speech. If you agree, it's free speech. Disagree, it's hate speech. Yes. There is no hate speech. There's hateful speech. Erase it if it came from anywhere except the mainstream. Trump supporters. Erase it if it came from anywhere but the mainstream. Yeah. Labeled as the racist, but they can't be. Lincoln was Republican, and that's who ended slavery. Uh... I mean, okay, yeah, I see what he's saying there, but it doesn't really, I don't think that Trump and Trump supporters are not racist because Lincoln ended slavery. I don't think, I don't think the two really have much to do with each other other than they're both are members of the Republican Party, all are members of the Republican Party for the most part, although Trump has a lot of independence. I think that whether or not you're a racist is, depends on your actions. Like, when, when people wanted to call Trump racist, I, I, I don't care what the fuck you're saying that he said. And most of the things that he said that we were told were racist, if you go back and you read the actual transcripts and put it in the fucking context, these people, these Democrats, they, they take shit out of context. Like, churches take the Bible out of context, y'all. Straight up. God, they're, they're, they're worse than, like, the slimiest preachers on the planet. But anyways, like, you look at Trump's actions, like you look at what he's doing to see, okay, is he taking actions in office that are like harming minorities? Are his policies harming? My, like, is he doing things to like advance these so-called agendas that he had that were racist or, or what? Like what's happening? And that's where you make your decisions. And you look at somebody's life and their actions and what they do and what they've done. That's where you can, and someone like Trump who's been in the public office for how fucking long? You can make those type of fucking decisions, I think, just by looking at, at, at long sections of fucking life and decisions that were made. Anyways, I'm ranting now, huh? Let's go back here. Supporters labeled as the racist, but they can't be. Lincoln was Republican, and that's who ended slavery. Science been politicized, it's easy to see. A mask became a symbol of which side you believe, but you'll never cure a sickness to... Science is politicized, yep, yep. A mask became a symbol for which side you believe, yep. You cure the greed because the problem with our natural immunity is it's free. Society is broken. Want you to the problem with our natural immunity is it's free. I mean, yeah, 
<laughs> I see spitting a lot of facts. So I'm ranting a lot about what he's saying, but. A mask became a symbol of which side you believe But you'll never cure a sickness till you cure the greed Because the problem with our natural immunity is it's free Society is broken, want you locked inside a cubicle Addicted to pornography, liquor, and pharmaceuticals Tell you that you're fat and poor and you were never beautiful Then tweet how much they love you when they hear about your funeral We can't be free Can't have no peace till we're There was a lot there, I'm, I'm not going to dive into it We're on the same team, but y'all are sheep They can't convince you, they confuse you, yes, or they distract you. For me, it's mostly a distraction. And let's see what he's going to say after that. But. They divided you by race, religion, income, and sex. Mate. They divided you by race, religion, income, and sex. You, they confuse you. They want you dumb and dead. They divided you by race, religion, income, and sex. <laughs> Made everybody right and left. The hatred got so intense. If the other side likes oxygen, you'll put a bag on your head. And the conspiracy theories labeled as missing. So the hatred got so bad that if the other side likes oxygen, you'll put a bag on your head. That's a that's a great analogy. It's funny, but it's not funny. You know, people people have a saying, right? It's funny because it's true. Well, this is not funny because it's true. You know what I mean? That is how bad it's gotten. Information is just a terrifying truth that scares the hell out the nation. The system treating you like trash and you got rifles to aim with. Just imagine how they'll treat you when your guns get confiscated. George Orwell. The system treating you like trash when you got rifles to aim with. Imagine what how they'll treat you when they got all that shit. Sure. Yeah, try. Enough said. Well, this misinformation is just a terrifying truth that scares the hell out the nation. The system treating you like trash and you got rifles to aim with. Just imagine how they'll treat you when your guns get confiscated. George Orwell, 1984 was his last lecture. George called him thought police. Now we call him fact checkers. Government surveillance. George Orwell called him fact police. Thought police. George Orwell called him thought police. We call him fact checkers. Ah, damn. Tom. Trying to catch you, they don't ask questions. Mass incarceration equals capital for cash investors. The system isn't broke, it's working fine. Oppressive and chaotic is how it was designed. This That's the scariest thing is that you can come to realize. A lot of people talk about how the system's broke, but it's not. What Tom just said is 100% facts. The system's not broken at all. It's working exactly like it's supposed to. It's never worked better the system has never worked better in history in my opinion than it is right now i don't know how you could disagree with what i just said the system isn't broke it's working fine oppressive and chaotic is how it was designed they say if we ain't doing nothing wrong there's nothing to hide said oppressive and chaotic is how it was designed. Has it ever been more oppressive and chaotic? Yes, there has been worse oppression than like we have in America right now. But, but I'm talking about things like, okay, you want to look back to like a terrible time in history, World War II. All right, what was going on in Germany? The levels of propaganda and crap that was being fed to German citizens to the point where it got them to turn the way it got the, a lot of them to turn, right? We talked about that when I was growing up in, in school, about that level of that fucking propaganda that was being pumped out right there. Look where we're at right now. We have the internet now that I was naive enough to think was going to be this tool for knowledge and expansion and truth. And, I mean, look look how it's actually being used now. You ha It's controlled mainly by these very few giant corporations that can control the fucking search results that you get which control the access to the information that you have. 
you got thought police coming out their label and this is wrong, that is wrong. You don't know what to believe half the time online to the point where there's fucking memes and jokes about how, oh no, it's true, I read it on the internet. It's, we've never been so susceptible to propaganda in history, I guess is the point that I'm trying to make. Like, we've seen it used before, but this is a whole new level where you, you can't even tell. Here in America, we're getting fed shit that was worse, in my opinion, than what was has been done historically prior. While their agenda and intelligence completely classified, they don't teach your rights in school, you never learn them at all. Because they're easy to remove if you don't know what they are. The only people you can rule are the criminal ones. So they force you into corners till you're breaking the law. We can't be free. Can't have no peace till we're on the same team, but y'all are sheep. So we can't be free. We'll have no peace until we are on the same team. Yes. I wonder how many people watching this are. Oh, shit. I got to plug this in. Hold on real quick. Hold on. Oh, shit. All right. What are... I forgot what I was saying. Let's just carry on with this. Oh. So we can't be free till we're all on the same team. Can't have no peace till we're on the same team, but y'all are sheep. Blue screams just part of the machine. Y'all are sheep. What do y'all believe? Nothing's what it seems. Hmm. Wow. Can an 8,000 year old herb really I'm increase sorry, your everybody. tea, lower your. I used to write headlines like that for a living. Yeah. Wow. Well. Whew. What did you all think of that? I found it, um, the song to be good. I like the rock vibes. Uh, I like the chorus. I thought that was good. I'm glad that the chorus was um, not too um, auto-tuned. Sometimes I get, I get tired of that in Tom's music, so that was a plus for me. Uh, I really liked the lyrics. The bars were on fucking point. Tom's delivery was good, but mostly I liked the content. The content of that song... Um, it was depressing, though. It's depressing to me because I don't think that it's going to get any any better. I just don't. It's gotten so far. We're talking about we're talking about things that if you if if fifteen years ago they would have told you that this would have been happening, you would have been like, hell no, not going to happen. So, anyways. I found it a depressing song, ultimately, but a good one. What did you all think about it? Did you, did you, I mean, do you disagree? Did Tom say some stuff that you're like, no, nah, that's not true? For me, it was mainly just the bar about the, uh, like, the slang. Using slang terms, I don't, I don't think that dumbs anybody down. Um, that It's not that that's doing it, but uh, that's it. You know, that's a real minor part of the song. It's really probably uh, not a major part of it at all so let me know what you thought of that let me know what you think of the song overall tom's views what you think and hit me up in the comments i will get back to as many as i can thank you so much for hanging out i always enjoy watching these tom mcdonald videos with the hangover gang and everybody else so if you dug the video give me a thumbs up and a like i appreciate that and if you want to support the channel you can hit that thanks button or go to the it's paypal.com no paypal.me slash the lvme I will see you all on the next video, all right? Peace.